Is the earth covered in mysterious lines that have immense power and energy? And did previous civilizations understand the importance of these invisible tracks and try to use them for their own purposes? For the past 100 years, there have been a significant number of people that would say yes. And in more recent history, there are those that connect these energy lines with UFO sightings. Are ley lines real? I'll leave that up to you. Here is the story. The term ley line began in the early 20th century and was defined as a straight line on the earth drawn between natural land formations and man-made historic structures. The first written description of this idea was proposed by Englishman Alfred Watkins, a wealthy businessman who was fascinated with ancient history and historic sites. In the 1920s, Watkins wrote a book titled The Old Straight Track, which said that straight lines could be drawn between significant natural landmarks and man-made historic structures. He noticed this for the first time during a car trip through the English countryside. Not knowing what to call these straight tracks, he decided to call them ley lines since many of the connected sites contained the phrase ley. He believed that these ley lines showed that ancient English civilizations established completely straight roads as trade routes that linked prehistoric structures and towns. Watkins also created drawings of what he considered to be the most prominent ley lines he had observed. He also theorized that the famous Long Man of Wilmington in Sussex was a chalk drawing of an ancient man using some type of equipment to determine the path of a ley line. Although many people shared Watkins' beliefs, mainstream archaeologists never accepted his theories. There were a variety of reasons that his ideas were rejected, including the fact that the straight lines Watkins proposed would have been largely impassable due to rugged terrain. We have all experienced driving on curvy roads that were designed to avoid mountainous terrains, for example. Archaeologists also believe that ancient civilizations did not have the technology to create entirely straight roads as trade paths. But it is interesting, in the same time period, the theory of Heilige Linien, translated as Holy Lines, was also documented in Germany. But the Ley Lines and Holy Lines theories were developed completely independently of each other, which is pretty coincidental. With mainstream archaeologists rejecting Alfred Watkins' theory of Ley Lines, the concept pretty much died out in the 1930s. Watkins passed away in 1935, still frustrated by the lack of acceptance of his work. However, some of his other beliefs, such as that ancient civilizations were able to clear large tracts of forests, were rejected at the time, but turned out to be true. Is it possible, then, that his theory of ley lines is still waiting to be validated? Watkins' theories suddenly resurfaced in the 1960s as part of the British Earth Mysteries movement. In 1961, Tony Wedd proposed that ley lines were established by ancient peoples to guide alien spacecraft as they approached the Earth. This idea was propelled even farther by the books of John Mitchell, who wrote The View Over Atlantis in 1969. At this point, a larger movement developed, including the publication of a magazine titled Lay Hunter that was focused on sharing information that assisted so-called lay hunters to search out new ley lines across Britain. These lay hunters searched for new lines with many New Age methods, such as using dowsing rods and numerology. Many also believed that these ley lines might be related to the upcoming age of Aquarius, remember that, and that it would transform human society into a new peaceful order. A small number of lay hunters also incorporated scientific practices into their search for mysterious earth energies in the ley lines and the ancient historical sites. Interest in ley lines started dying out in the 1990s, kind of like it did in the 1930s. 
Today, archaeologists still maintain there is no evidence that ley lines ever existed as straight paths established for trade in the ancient world. They have also stressed that the so-called wild idea of earth energies running through the ley lines has not been verified and really was more of a crazy New Age ideology. And they certainly never believed that UFOs in any way related to these so-called energy lines. Fair enough. But I have to wonder if there's more truth to this theory than meets the eye. Consider the UFO phenomenon in general. If 20 years ago someone had told me that the U.S. government would openly admit that they can't explain some of the UFOs spotted in our skies, I would have never believed it. But it's amazing that last year the U.S. government actually admitted that UFOs are real. So is it so hard to believe that our ancient ancestors knew things that we are just now starting to understand? Maybe not. Perhaps Alfred Watkins had it right after all. I'll leave that up for you to decide.